Hello everyone and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you're new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. It's completely free. You just have to click the red button down below, turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. So now that it is September, that means it's officially apple season and I am so excited because I love picking apples in the fall and I love all the desserts that go along with it caramel apples, apple pie. If you missed my video from last week, I even made easy apple dumplings. But what I'm gonna be making today is old-fashioned apple crisp. I love apple crisp because it has that crunchy, crumbly topping, those gooey, warm apples beneath it, and when you top it with vanilla ice cream, it is just amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare it start to finish, and then we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning motivation all the way at the end. You want to start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Then grab a mixing bowl and add in your flour, oats, brown sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt and whisk that together for 30 seconds. Now I am just dicing up the butter into small cubes and using my clean fingers, I'm going to rub it into the dry mixture until it comes together into small crumbles. I'm gonna stick this in my refrigerator and let it chill while I prepare the filling. So I'm going to just whiz through peeling these apples. The recipe calls for two pounds, so for me that was about six medium size apples, and I am using Granny Smith. I love that they're a little bit tart and they are a good sturdy cooking apple. Honestly, any apple will work just fine. I just like the tartness of the Granny Smiths. I think it pairs really well with the sweetness of the brown sugar. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up these apples. You wanna make sure that you slice these pretty thinly, about an eighth of an inch thick, so that they become fully tender. Nobody wants a crunchy apple in their apple crisp. It also really helps if your apples are at room temperature. This ensures that it's going to bake evenly when they go in the oven. So 
So I went ahead and melted my butter in the microwave and then added the flour to it, mixed it up until it was well combined. Then you can go ahead and mix in your lemon juice along with three tablespoons of water and your vanilla extract. Stir that up, then mix together your quarter cup of brown sugar, your cinnamon, and your pinch of salt. You're gonna wanna put your apples in a large bowl and pour that butter mixture over the apples, toss it so that it's evenly coated. Then you can go ahead and butter a baking dish and spread the apples into an even layer. Take your topping out of the refrigerator and sprinkle it into crumbles evenly over the top of the apples. Then you just gotta pop that apple crisp in the oven for 35 minutes. So while my apple crisp is in the oven, I thought I would take this opportunity to spend a little bit of time just cleaning up my kitchen. Sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven. Yo sé que tú quieres moverlo sin pena. Ven. Sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven. Yo sé que tú quieres. Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor. So as you can see, my kids have done some decorating of their own. I felt bad taking them off. So I've left these on for over a week, I think. So my fridge is covered in fingerprints. It's time to get rid of them and give it a good wipe down with my Wayman's stainless steel cleaner. This is my favorite product to clean off my fridge. So here is how the apple crisp looks fresh out of the oven. You can see it is so gooey and bubbly. It looks and smells amazing. I am going to let it cool for about 10 minutes before I dig in just so I won't burn my mouth. And of course, I have to serve this with a big scoop of vanilla ice cream and a drizzle of caramel sauce on top. This is absolutely mandatory. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this fall big and clean with me. Let me know if you're going to give this apple crisp recipe a try. And I'll see you on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye! Que tú quieres con...